Hello everybody, in this video we are going to learn how to control LED through node MCU using blink app. So, initially we have to set up the blink application. So, for that in Google I am typing blink and when I am typing blink and searching it I am getting uh, this uh, web link. So, let me click this one. Once I click this one, okay, I will get the blink site which will somewhat look like this. Since you are the beginner, you have to do what? You have to start as a free, you have to click on this tab. Once you click that, uh, it will ask you for uh, registering. So, you can use your Google Gmail ID or Google ID to register uh, yourself. And once you register, you will get a link in your Gmail account, okay. And from that link, you have to create the password. And with that, you have to log in to Blink. So, I have done that part. So, directly I will log in. So, already have logged in. This is the login tab, the corner you can see. So, already have logged in. So, I am just going directly to my site. Okay, so this may blink console uh, where exactly uh, I'm there. So I have already created a template over here which is working. So I'll just show you if uh, you want to create a new template, how to create it. So if this template is not available, you'll find that new template button over here. You can click it out. But since I am having one, uh, I have that template button over here. Okay, so you have to click over here and then uh, you'll get this uh, window. Okay. So, let me click the new template. Once you click, you will get a create new template button like this, a pop up like this. Over here, let me write down experiment number 3. Okay, any name you can take of your choice. Hardware I am using Node MCU that is ESP266. So, I will choose this one and then connection type is Wi Fi. I am taking it and then what I will do, I will just cl click done over here. Now, once it is done, okay, this is the information. So, from here, I will just move on to data streams and I have to create the new data stream over here. Okay, for all the templates, you do the same thing. Uh, then I will go for virtual pin over here. You can go for digital analog as per your requirement. So, over here, let me give a name called LED12. Okay, I am giving a name. And from number of virtual pins, you have to select one. Uh, so, I am selecting uh, let us say V2 over here. For uh, uh, the existing and template, I have taken V0. Now, I am taking V2 over here. And data type is uh, integer type I am taking. And then I am creating it, clicking the create button over here. So, you can see my data stream is created. Okay. Now, I will come to directly uh, events. You can you can go to events and you can change the color. You can see online is there, offline is there because this is online. Already have created that one. Presently, this is offline now. So, let me come to web dashboard. So, if you want to control your hardware uh, through desktop or laptop, so you have to create the web dashboard over here. Okay. So, I have to bring the widget over here. So, I can drag it out over here. I can double click. I am just double clicking this one. So, you can see the switch is available over here. Now, on this switch, the setting is there. So, we'll click the settings over here. In the setting, I will choose my data stream. I will give what name over there. I will give the name as LED12. So, this I am choosing over here. So, now I got my switch. You can see the switch is moving the cylinder side. Okay. So, what I will do? I will just save it. Now, you can see my device is ready now. And from here, if you want to link this one to mobile phone also, that also you can do. So, you can go for mobile dashboard and from here uh, you can download the Android version of uh, uh, the mobile. You can see over here, just uh, drag it down. Uh, you can see, yeah. So, download for Android is there, iOS is there, you can download from here and you can set up the mobile phone. Or you can do one thing from Google Play Store also, you can download it. That also I have done, I will just show you. Okay. And once this is done, what exactly we will do is that you will just uh, uh, save it out. So, once this is saved, what I have to do is that you have to go for search over here okay then you will find this is already led i have taken so it is already there okay so i have to create in because template is ready now i have to link the device for that i have to create new device button over here okay so this led which is showing over here is already i have created this one so now the template which i have created for that new device i want to link so i'll create the new device button over here now from where from the template because in the template i have created that one the experiment number three so i will click this one so it is showing me choose template let me click so experiment three okay this we have just doing it so i have taken this one and create now the thing is that once it is created it will find uh, some links are available over here so i need the authorization to token this link i need in my uh, arduino id program okay because this authorization token through which i will link to the cloud of blink okay so this i will copy from here to my uh, arduino id okay so before i go to arduino id what exactly i will do is that i will show you how to create the dashboard in the mobile phone and then we'll go for the Arduino ID part okay well so you can see this mobile phone right now over here so I will show you how to set up the dashboard on the mobile phone so 
as I told you that you have to download the Blink app. So already I've downloaded the Blink app. This is Blink IoT. You can see it's already downloaded. Okay. Now let me click this one. So once I click this one, the Blink IoT app is opening. So already I have the template in my uh, desktop, which I've on the laptop I've shown you. So this template is already coming over here. Okay. But I have to set this switch over here. So what I'll do, I'll click this one. The moment I'm clicking, it's asking for the setup of the dashboard. So let me click the setup dashboard. Okay. Uh, so you can see this the pop up is opening. So from here, I have to go for the switch. Okay. So this three lines I'll trigger over here. So I'll choose button from this button. Okay. So this button I can drag it over here also. So let me uh, go for the button first. So data stream I will select. So data stream means I have taken LED blink over there. So this is my data stream. So let me select data stream over here. LED blink. Now this will be switch. Okay. So I'll switch from push to switch part. Switch. Okay. Once this is done, I will go back. So I'm clicking this one. I'm going back over here. Now I can drag this one over here. Okay. Just clicking this one and then dragging it. Okay. To the center I have dragged it out. Okay. Now what I will do is that I can uh, change the shape of this one also as I like it. Right. Now once this is done, okay, I'll go back to this LED so you can see now the switch is ready over here which can be tapped as on or off as I do the on my hardware will respond as I do the off my hardware will again respond so we we'll see that one the electric case okay okay now let us see at the Arduino ID part what exactly is happening so this is the Arduino ID part okay whereas I have written the code already I have defined the code over here I have taken blink print serial that I defined ESP to Wi-Fi dot H header file I have taken because I am taking this uh, in, uh, blink so I have taken blink simple ESP266 header that I have taken okay authorization token I have defined this is the authorization token I have taken okay and according to which hotspot you are connecting you will take the SSID and password and then the code starts from here so blink right v0 this v0 is what this is the virtual pin which I have taken in the data stream okay so uh, already LED template is created I'll, this the template which I have shown you just how to create it but already I have created the LED template for that I have taken data stream at v0 so this v0 I have taken over here then I am taking digital rate d0 d0 is the pin from a node MCU I am taking okay and parameter as integer I am with this I am uh, overwriting this d0 on this v0 okay then I am using d0 as a pin mode output and then I am blink dot bigger I am giving authorization SSID password and to the blink cloud I am linking through port number 80 is a server port number 80 right and then in the loop I am writing blink don't run so whatever command I am giving through my uh, mobile phone dashboard or from desktop uh, dashboard the hardware will obey to that one okay so this is a code I have written and after writing the code what I will do I will just dump it out so before dumping you have to see that uh, the uh, blink library is inbuilt into this Arduino ID. So for that what you have to do is that you just go to sketch over here okay include library okay. So in that you will find add zip library. So this uh, link already I will be in your uh, description box you can copy or you can include the files from there. So what you have to do is that add zip library and once you click this it will ask for the library okay. Uh, in my uh, case already I have included that one. So, you have to cut the data from there and you will click it see over here in downloads I am having that yeah so you can see over here blink 1.1.0 uh, so this file is available in the uh, description okay you can copy from there and include in the library okay so already I have done so I am cancelling this one over here so then you can give it a set in password and you can dump the code into the hardware once this is dumped you can control it from your app okay or from this uh, uh, blink dashboard from here you can uh, trigger the switch to start working not this one exactly which one the LED one okay so let me go to the template once again and uh, this is the uh, uh, place from where uh, web dashboard so from this is the place from where I can uh, uh, control my hardware so let's see the hardware how it is well so this is the hardware setup you can see this is the node MCU okay and uh, this is connected to my USB port of my laptop you can see okay and then what I have done is that uh, to the uh, pin of this okay that is I have taken digital pin in the ground the yellow one is connected to D0 and the green one is connected to the ground okay and this is connected to my breadboard over here okay and accordingly I have connected to LEDs over here right this is my hardware setup now the point is that I will just control this LED uh, through my mobile phone dashboard as well as my laptop dashboard okay so you can see this is my laptop dashboard over here okay let me put it very close to it 
so I'm putting it in this way okay now when I click my uh, link uh, dashboard from the uh, desktop you will see the moment I click it it has become on and if I click this one this becomes off okay this I have done from my uh, laptop okay now if I take the cell phone over here you can see this is my cell phone now okay where I'm just clicking it uh, this LED okay the template so I'm going to take a switch over here that is off and on so I'm just swing you over here see the moment I click this one uh, over here you can see this is off now if I click this this becomes on and the LED is on if I click this off and the LED is off so this is how okay uh, this blink set in app is helping us to switch on the devices okay thank you for watching my video